Hey everyone, it's Kira. So today is Monday the 21st of August and today's the big day, finally getting my cast removed. Uh, pretty excited, but also very nervous. Um, you can obviously see my nose now, but you can't obviously see the full product. So yeah, it's kind of daunting and I'm just looking forward to getting this off my face, to be honest. It's just very annoying, very uncomfortable. Uh, washing my face has been the most irritating thing on the planet and yesterday I'm joined by my lovely mother who so kindly drove me here today and yeah I'll probably uh, film obviously getting it removed and then you know the aftermath and just thoughts and everything so I'll see you guys soon bye oh, sorry I'm sorry stuck there you go Oh, oh wow, it looks so gross underneath. Uh, <laughs> just be clear of them, all the skin cells have been trapped, you've broken out just a slightly. Yeah. That's a really God, you were so quick, I don't know if I got that. <laughs> You're filming it the wrong way. Uh. Okay, I'm just going to give it a cleanse. So Thank you. It's still quite swollen here. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The skin cuts you off here, so it all just collects. Oh, it's so good to get that off my face. Mm. So I'm just going to pop some cleanser on, okay? Okay. I've got a nice yellow nose. That's just the colour of the stereo strips. Use whatever your makeup wipes, cleanser, or whatever you do at home, you can use it. Yeah, so it's fine to like wash my face as normal? Uh, absolutely. Okay, awesome. And have a long shower. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be looking forward to that. It's been like baths every day. I know. I'm looking forward to the lack of whinging. Yeah, I, was, oh. I would whinge about it like every, <laughs> just like, a... no, like every hour. She's like, she forget actually. Oh. I was like, oh, I want it off my face. Alright, can I turn it off now, huh? Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Kira again. So I just got home from the shops just now. Um, yeah, basically ended up spending the day after my appointment just out uh, shopping for my best friend and her wedding and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so here's what I look like. And this is with no makeup, hence the sort of dirty, swollen, bruised complexion. But the funny thing is that I already feel a considerable notice in my self-esteem and my confidence level, which has been great. And yeah, this is the final product. Obviously, it looks a lot more, uh, you know, bulbous looking than it'll end up looking in, say, about a year. But just to have a straight nose again, that's unbelievable. haven't known that since I was about four when I before you know the accident occurred but yeah I'm very happy very over the moon about it uh when the cast came off uh was very sort of oily very uh pimply underneath so just know to expect that but I guess that's you know part and parcel of having acne prone skin to begin with so yeah looking forward to actually being able to wash my face properly for a change tonight uh anything else uh I guess no, other than I'm incredibly happy and I haven't felt this confident in a long time. So yeah, I will keep you guys uh, updated, sort of, you know, the three month mark, year mark and sort of whatnot like that. But basically, I don't regret this decision at all. Uh, yes, it's, you know, quite expensive, a lot of time recovering, very painful, truthfully speaking. But would I do it all again in a heartbeat? It's probably the best decision I've ever made is an investment in yourself and your confidence. But yeah, definitely don't go getting cosmetic surgery. I would personally advise unless it's necessary, which for me was medically necessary. Uh, wouldn't have done this if I hadn't broken my nose to begin with, but you know, each to their own. If you're unhappy with yourself, why not do something about it? But hey, that's just me. Thank you for watching guys. And I'll keep you guys updated and Bye for now. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, and subscribe to this channel and like this if you do. Hey, so I just realized that I forgot to add this, but I am required to wear my cast at night. Uh, yeah, so I was advised to keep it. So just sort of, you know, I have to pop it back on with a bit of tape uh, just for a two week period. I guess uh, in order to 
uh, cease the swelling, help that inflammation. And just obviously, cause as the nose is still recovering, still quite weak in places. Uh, at the end of the week, I will get back into going to the gym, but obviously very light exercises, nothing too jarring or jolting. So no box jumps, no running, unfortunately, uh, yeah, especially given that that's all my favorite stuff. So I just sort of, you know, do a bit light weights, um, sort of the elliptical, the bike, just things of that nature, I guess. But yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to actually going back to work, to just resume, resuming everyday life and getting back into the swing of things again. Uh, hoping like crazy that no one's going to take too much of a notice with the change in me, especially, you know, people I haven't told about it. But, you know, even if they do, it's not the end of the world. Um, especially, you know, um, I think there's such a negative sort of uh, stereotype and whatnot and stigma associated with uh, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery. But, you know, people just who have that opinion are quite narrow-minded and especially when considering sort of the multitude of reasons why people resort to this surgery. And in my case, it was deemed medically necessary. So I'm not embarrassed about it or ashamed of it in any way. And neither should you be, even if you are just doing it solely as a form of cosmetic enhancement, you know, uh, if you sort of want to develop your confidence and everything in that way, then why not? And it's something that you should definitely not be ashamed of. You should be, you know, proud of yourself before and after the surgery and don't let it, you know, don't let it dictate your level of self-worth or self-love because you're amazing just as you are. Crooked or bent nose, you know, rock it, rock what you got. And if you don't have the money, then, you know, consider taking out a loan or even just learn to love the person you are. You don't have to change it. Thanks guys. Bye.